What is going on LEGO investors? So today we're going to look at some sales that are out today, more so specifically Black Friday sales on Amazon. Now depending on when this video comes out, they might be available or they might have already ended. So if they are available, I want to know whether you'd buy some of these sets or if you have bought some. But if they have ended, I want to know if you picked some up, did you like them, your thoughts and opinions on them. So definitely comment your opinions down below. It will definitely help the channel, help the community. We need to know your thoughts and opinions on types of sets, especially these sale sets it helps us on black it will it will definitely help us on black friday whether we should be investing in specific sets or avoiding so let us know we will definitely appreciate it but let's dive into it so amazon has some black friday deals out right now hopefully these aren't the only sales we get and we get some awesome ones on officially black friday these are more pre-sales, but they are labeled Black Friday. So we got the Technic and Speed Champions McLaren Racing Pack, item number 66792. This says originally $74.99 and it was $51.99 on sale. So I'm not a big fan of these sets. I'm just not really digging race cars. And I'm going to have a video coming out with some any day now. I love Speed Champions, but I am not a fan of Technic. I rare, rarely invest in Technic sets. I think they're just ugly the way that they make them. There are a few good ones and there are a few good investments. I like Speed Champions. Speed Champions have a history of doing very, very well. I've made money with Speed Champions. They're slow, consistent sellers. So teaming up with Technic just really isn't smart doing the two-in-one pack. And I love two-in-one packs, three-in-one packs, because I like that style of collecting. So overall, I'm going to pass up this one, although... I think the Speed Champions is pretty popular and has a chance of making money. I don't think the Technic at this price range can really make some money. I don't know. I need your thoughts and opinions. Maybe I can make a quick 20 on it. I shouldn't say quick. I think it will take a long time to sell. I might be able to make $20 on it. Next up, we've got the Duplo Town Steam Train Set. This is a battery-powered remote control train set for toddlers. This is item number 10874. So Duplo is amazing. I it's it does so well that I just refuse to accept that is do, it does so well. And I refuse to accept that parents would pay a premium for their kids in retirement. There's so many other Duplo sets available. I just don't see parents paying such a premium. But I've made videos on it and I am definitely going to make more videos on it. So that's why I like talking about this right now because Duplo is just phenomenal. It truly is. It, it's like it defies the laws of physics. And there's a, some subscribers who definitely agree with me on this, but then other ones have said, yeah, I'll definitely spend some cheddar on my kids and, you know, don't mind paying a premium. I just, I just don't get it, but they have a history of doing well and trains are very, very popular just in general. So I think there is some huge potential with this set. We're going to take a look at this one in a moment, but let's get through the rest before we start talking about them individually. Next up is the Idea Tales of the Space Age, item number 21340. I am not a big fan of this set. I just It just doesn't do anything for me. I, I don't see the demand on it. I don't see it being really displayed a whole lot. I There have been a few of my subscribers who've said they love this set and they're investing in it. I want to know your logic and reason behind it. I want to say since the set has came out, I have heard zero talk about this besides what I when I talk about it in my videos and you comment down below about it. So I really see this as being a no demand set. So I am definitely avoiding this one. Although it's not a bad price. If like my kid wanted it or my friend wanted it, $34.99 is a pretty solid deal. I don't see this having really any money for it, but maybe I'm wrong. Next up is the Icons Dried Flower Centerpiece, item number 10314. I am not a big fan of investing in the flower sets. They're, they're out for a very long time. They're flooded. I think they came out with too many in such a short amount of time. I definitely think they're phenomenal sets. If you could hold them for 5 to 10 years, then I think there is some potential. This one's a pretty decent price. I don't see it pulling in big money, but maybe I could see it pulling in a $25, $30 profit one day. So I'm definitely liking this price. Then we got the Creator Space Play Pack, the Astronaut and Spaceship. This is the two-in-one set. This is item number 66791. So I like the spaceship. I hate the astronaut. I think this is a horrible rendition of the astronaut. He's wearing the Adidas shoes. They're, those are Adidas shoes. There's no denying that. I think it's a bad, bad investment. This one is a horrible selling set. And they're trying to team up together. When you see the two-in-one packs, the three-in-one packs, 
That's typically a bad sign, especially if you invested in those individually. They're teaming up because they're struggling to sell and they need to be able to move that inventory. So very, very bad sign. At 44 bucks, I'm definitely avoiding this. I see no money in it. Next up is the Disney Encanto, the Madrigal, Madrigal, I can't even say that word right now, house, item number 43202. I don't know. I'm, I'm torn on this. I, Encanto was a solid movie, very popular. I am not a big fan, fan of these style minifigures. I wish they were traditional minifigures. So I'm probably going to avoid it just for that reason. At 30 bucks. I think it could probably go for 25 on sale that is so I'm I'm gonna be avoiding that one next up is the classic vibrant creative brick box the arts and crafts sensory toy kit item number one one zero three eight this one's forty one ninety nine originally sixty bucks definitely no money in this there could be money in the it looks like there's a horse maybe if it had a few other animals there could be money but overall definitely I don't like these st these styles of sets there's definitely no money in them at least for me. Then we got the Friends Beach Amusement Park, item number 41737. This is originally 120 bucks. It's on sale for $83.99. It does have some, you know, sea animals that could be pulling in some money, but I do not like investing in friend sets. Even though it's a tip a very bad set to invest in, there is some money to invest in any bad theme. I don't see the demand and the profit with this set. Just there's not enough going on for me. I, I just don't really have faith in it. So at 83 bucks, I'm going to pass. Then we got the Marvel Iron Man Hulkbuster vs. Thanos. Item number 76263. Definitely passing on that. Horrible, horrible rendition of the Hulkbuster. Passing. We got Super Mario Rambi, the Rhino expansion set. Item number 71420. Definitely passing on that. It's originally 11 bucks. It's 4.99. Super Mario is a bad theme to invest in, but... We got Super Mario Dry Bowser Castle. This is item number 71423. This one's on sale for 77 bucks, originally 110. I think there could be some money in this. I'm talking small profits, maybe a $20 profit. I'm going to have to debate on this one. Although Super Mario is a bad theme to invest in except for maybe one or two sets. I wish it was a little bit cheaper. I would feel a little more comfortable. So this is in the maybe pile. Then we got the Dreams Fantastical Treehouse item number 71461. It's a unique set. I don't think there's enough in it for me to feel comfortable. I would I would need a lot more like unique figures like this like I don't know whatever you Whatever this minifigure is, or beast, or demon, whatever. Dreams is a bad investment, except for the nightmare ship. I think there is potential with that, because it's just so unique. Ships do very, very well. This one, 76 bucks, originally 110, passing. Then we got this Dream Stable of Dreams creatures. Item number 71459. There could be money in it because the creatures, but I don't think there's enough. Originally 80 bucks, 4399. You're gonna see a lot of dream sets. We've had we have seen a lot of dream sets go on sale because it's just not a popular theme. I have been avoiding it like the plague, except I do have my eye on the nightmare ship. Although I haven't seen it for a while, so I think we might be officially out of it. I'll have to do a follow-up video on that one. So passing on that. Then we got the Duplo Fruit and Vegetables gift pack, item number 66776. This is an exclusive STEM toy for toddlers. Duplo is solid, but I don't see this one pulling in big bucks like really other sets. It's on sale for $23.99, originally $35. If it was like a specific theme like cars or, or some something like that, Spider-Man, then yeah, I would say okay, but I don't think this one is, is going to pull profit. Then we got some other Lego set or type toys. So yeah, that's what we got. The ones I'm really liking, I, I don't know. I think the train, I think there could be huge money with this train. I, I think with the Duplo train, so we've got a, a Duplo cargo train. This one is retails for 130. It's got a value of 134. If you pick this up on sale, you can earn some money. Then we've got the train three in one pack. This was 110, value of 130. Again, depends on the sales. Then we got the push trains. This one's $30, a value of 107. These ones are really too expensive, but when you get in a decent price, like 30, 40, $50, like the one on Amazon, I think there's, there's a chance. 
Then we got the train bridges and tracks. This one's originally 25, value of 27. And then more tracks, retail for 20, value of 24. So it's great that we're in a profit. I honestly could see the, the Duplo. I could see it selling for 80 bucks. I honestly do. I think I, I don't know. I haven't sold Duplo in person. So I don't, if I was selling online, I only, full disclosure, I don't sell online. I only sell in person. Could this be a hard sell? Yeah, but if I do sell online one day, this one could make some money. So really quick, let's take a look at how these sets are doing on eBay right now. So the Tales of Space doing 40, 44, 42, 89, 35, 33, 35. So honestly, I'm kind of impressed that it's that high. I would have expected it to do it more in the 30 range. Then the Dried Flower Centerpiece, this one's 35, 30, 31. We've had this on sale for a very long time. I'm definitely avoiding it. 30 bucks. Yeah, I don't think we're going to earn a profit with that. It's going to be a very long hold. And then item number 43202, the Encanto. We've got 3498, 37, 29, 62, 20, 26. This one was doing better on eBay. I would say there was demand. Definitely avoiding that one. And then the Bowser Castle, item number 71423. This one's pulling in 78, 79, 58, 88, 16 bids. That's pretty solid. 81, 92 plus 60, 16 bids, 81. And let's see, ours is going for 76 bucks. Yeah, I think I would probably wait on that one, but I do think there could be a $20, $30 profit with this set. So yeah, I want to say if I were to buy one, it would probably be the Duplo train set and then maybe the Bowser. I want to know if you picked up any of these or if you're going to pick up some. Let us hear it. But I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great day. As always, please do your own research, have some fun, make some money. Video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.